If Black Ops 6 is not launching, crashing, freezing and showing a black screen on your PC, then you are at the right place. We have got the best ways to fix the issue. Welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. Method 1. Check if your system meets the minimum requirements. When Black Ops 6 is not launching, crashing, freezing and showing a black screen on your PC, first make sure your system fulfills the minimum requirements to run the game. Here are the minimum and recommended requirements for Black Ops 6. Check this. Minimum requires a 64-bit processor and operating system, OS, Windows 10 64-bit, processor AMD Ryzen 5 1400 or Intel Core i5-6600, memory 8GB RAM, graphics, AMD Radeon RX 470, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 or Intel Arc A580, DirectX version 12, network, broadband internet connection. Additional notes, SSD with 128GB available space at launch. Recommended. Requires a 64-bit processor and operating system. OS, Windows 10 64-bit or Windows 11 64-bit. Processor, AMD Ryzen 5 1600X or Intel Core i7-6700K. Memory, 12GB RAM. Graphics, AMD Radeon RX 6600XT or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080Ti or RTX 30. Direct X version 12. Network broadband internet connection. Additional notes SSD with 128 GB available space at launch. You can also visit this link and check out the system requirements for the game. The link is provided in the description below so you can copy and paste it from there. Method 2. Check your internet connection and game server status. You need a stable internet connection while playing games like Black Ops 6. So check your internet speed from speedtest.net. If you have an unstable and poor internet connection, then contact your service provider. You can also restart your router or modem and see if this works. Next, you can check the Black Ops 6 server status. You can search for COD Black Ops 6 server status and click on the options provided on the internet and check if there is any server outage. If there is any server outage, then wait for some time and then relaunch the game and check again. When the server becomes up and live again, try to launch the game and see. Method 3. Launch Black Ops 6 from the installation folder. Sometimes launching the game from the game launcher can cause the game to crash or freeze. To launch the game from the game installation folder, open Steam and right-click on the game. Go to Properties. Select Install Files and click on Browse. This should take you to the game installation folder. Here we are showing this game as an example. The steps are the same for Black Ops 6. Once found, try launching the game from here. Method 4. Run Steam or Black Ops 6 with administrative privileges. The next thing you can do is run the game as an administrator. The game files may sometimes need administrative privileges to run, else it can crash or freeze or show a black screen. So go to the game installation folder or Steam installation folder. Right-click on Steam EXE or the game EXE and open its properties. Head to the Compatibility tab. Check the box for Run this program as an administrator. Click on Apply and then on OK. Now launch the game and check. Another thing you can do is change the compatibility mode while playing the game. To do that, go to the Compatibility tab. Check the box for Run this program in compatibility mode for the option. Select a Windows version and click on Apply and then on OK. Method 5. Verify the game files. Missing or corrupted game files can also cause crashing or freezing issues while playing Black Ops 6. So verify the game files. Here is how you can verify the integrity of the game files from the Steam platform. Head to the Steam library, right-click on the game and open its properties. Here we are showing this game as an example. The steps are same for Black Ops 6. Go to the Installed Files tab and then verify the game files. Wait till Steam verifies the game files and download the missing file or fix the corrupted game files. Once done, launch the game and check. Method 6. Add the game for the high performance and try a lower resolution. Press the Windows plus I keys to open settings. Click on System and then select Display. Scroll down and click on Graphics. Click on the Browse option and head to the Game Installation folder. Select Game EXE and add it. Here, 
We are showing this game as an example. Once you do that, you will now see it here. Click on options and select high performance. Select save to save the changes. You can also try a lower resolution from settings. To do that, go to Windows settings. Click on the system tab and select display. Then head to display resolution. You can try a lower resolution than the recommended one for your PC and check if the game loads now. Method 7. Set the power settings to high performance. Open control panel. Set the view by section to large or small icons. Select power options. Click on high performance under hide additional plans. If you cannot find it, click on show additional plans. Once done, restart your PC and then launch Black Ops 6. Method 8. Configure Windows game settings. The next thing you can do is make sure the Windows game settings are properly configured for the optimal FPS. This should also reduce crashing and launching issues. First, make sure the game mode is enabled. To check that, go to Windows settings. Then click on the gaming tab. Select game mode from the right side pane. Make sure the game mode toggle is turned on. Next, click on the back button next to settings and click on the game bar tab. Turn the toggle off. Method 9. Update graphics drivers and run the game on the dedicated graphics card. Make sure to update the graphics drivers before you start gaming. This should help you avoid issues while gaming and boost your gaming experience. Here is how you can update your graphics drivers. Open Device Manager using Windows Search. Go to the Display Adapter section and expand it. Right-click on your graphics driver and choose Update Driver option. From the next window, select the Search Automatically for Drivers option. Follow the on-screen instructions to download and install the latest driver. You can also visit the official websites of your graphics card manufacturer to update your graphics drivers. These websites are linked in the description below. Now download the latest drivers for the graphics card installed on your computer from these websites. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the driver installation process. Once done, restart your system, then open the app again to check for any updates. If any update is available, download and install them. If you have multiple GPUs for your computer, then make sure you use the one exclusively for gaming. This ensures a better gaming experience. So using the dedicated GPU for gaming can avoid issues while playing games like COD Black Ops 6. Here is how to check if you are running the dedicated graphics card. Although this depends upon your operating system and your specific graphics card. Press Windows key plus R to launch the run utility. Type devmgmt.msc and press enter. Expand display adapter section in the device manager. Here, you will find the two adapters, one for your dedicated graphics card and the one for integrated graphics card. The dedicated graphics card should have a longer and more specific name than the integrated one. The dedicated graphics card may also have a higher memory size listed. So run COD Black Ops 6 with the dedicated graphics card. Method 10. Disable overlay features. Disabling the overlays can boost the performance while playing Black Ops 6. So here is how you can disable the Steam overlay. Open Steam library, find the game and right-click on it. Go to its properties. Now go to the general tab. Uncheck the enable the Steam overlay while in-game option. You should also disable other overlay apps like Discord, GeForce Experience, Nvidia Shadowplay overlay or AMD overlay before playing the game. Method 11. Set the highest refresh rate for your monitor. You should choose the highest refresh rate your PC monitor supports while playing Black Ops 6. This ensures a better gaming experience. To do so, right-click on a blank space on your desktop, select Display Settings, then select Advanced Display. From the drop-down menu for Choose a Refresh Rate, make sure to set the highest rate your monitor permits. Method 12. Allow the game through the firewall. Another potential cause of this issue could be firewall interference. So you can check that by allowing the game through firewall and your antivirus program. Here we are showing how to allow the game through Windows Security. Open the Windows Security app using the search menu. Now click on the firewall and network protection option. After that, tap on the allow an app through firewall option from the right side pane and then press the change settings button. Next, click on the allow another app button and then press the browse button 
to select the game exe file. Click on open and then click on the add button. You will now see the game under the list of allowed apps and features. Tick the checkbox associated with the game and enable it on both public and private networks. Once done, you can press the OK button to save changes. Finally, you can relaunch the game file and check if it is loading properly. Method 13. Increase VRAM The more VRAM your system's graphics card has, the more data it can store. So this will enable it to handle higher resolution textures and run your game smoothly without crashing. Here is how you can increase the VRAM. Go to Windows Search and type Advanced System Settings. Select the top search result. Click on Settings below Performance. Go to the Advanced tab. Under Virtual Memory, click on Change. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Choose the drive where you want to store the paging file. Select Custom Size. In the Initial Size field, enter a value equal to 1.5 times of your total available RAM. In the Maximum Size field, enter a value that is 3 times of your total RAM. To check that, open Windows Settings and then from the System tab, select About. Check the RAM. Once you have set the value, click on Set, then OK twice and then restart your PC. Method 14. Install the correct version of DirectX Many games, including Black Ops 6, require a specific version of DirectX to run properly. If you have an outdated or incompatible version, it will cause issues. The latest version of DirectX ensures the game's improved performance. Search DirectX Runtime Download on Google and open the first result from Microsoft.com. Select the installer language you prefer and click on the download. Wait for the download to finish and then run the installer. Complete the installation and wait for the installation to finish. After the installation completes, restart your PC. Method 15. Install Visual C++ Redistributables Installing Visual C++ Redistributable can be helpful while playing Black Ops 6 since it includes a set of libraries that helps the game rely on and function normally. If these libraries are missing or outdated, it leads to loading screen issues. To install Visual C++ Redistributables, search for Visual C++ Redistributables in Google. Click on the first link of Microsoft.com. Download the recently available Visual C++ Redistributables. Ensure you download for the correct architecture like x64 for 64-bit systems and x86 for 32-bit systems. Install the downloaded file and restart your PC. Method 16. Avoid overclocking and update BIOS. Overclocking the system can boost performance, but sometimes it can crash the system especially while playing games like Black Ops 6. So it is wise to disable overclocking while playing this game. To do that, boot into your BIOS or UEFI settings. The process of booting into BIOS differs from system to system. You can check the manufacturer's website for the exact process to boot into your BIOS. You can also take the help of the user manual to boot into your BIOS. Here are the basic steps to enter into BIOS or the UEFI settings. Open your window those settings. Select Recovery from the right pane. Then click on Restart Now button next to the Advanced Startup. Once your PC restarts, select Troubleshoot then go to Advanced Options. Then you should find the UEFI firmware settings. Once you boot into your BIOS or UEFI settings, navigate to the overclocking section and then disable it. You should close all the overclocking apps if you are using one like MSI Afterburner or similar applications. If you are using an outdated version of the BIOS, then this can also be why you are having issues while playing Black Ops 6. Each motherboard is different. So go through the manual of your motherboard to know how to update your BIOS. Follow the instructions to complete updating BIOS. After updating BIOS, you should not get the error. And there you have it. The 16 methods to fix the Black Ops 6 not launching, crashing, freezing and showing black screen. We hope one of these methods have worked for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Leave a comment and help others know which solution solved your problem. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.